Hi, I'm Brad, and this is my GrowWatt 12 kilowatt model. And this review is uh, going to be brief. I've got a couple of QR codes for you if you're interested. Uh, the first one I have when I was preparing to raise and mount it on the wall, where you see it now. And then another one where I actually, uh, it took about 15 minutes, um, but I raised it with some pulleys, and I shortened that in time lapse to about 40 seconds. So you can see how I physically got it up here. I am not not grid tied. I'm off grid, but I do have my backup power as my utility. So my utility panel is right next to me here, kind of behind me from your view. I have a sub panel that I put in. Uh, so my grow watt is feeding my sub panel with these three wires here. And then I have from the grid these two. Uh, feeding 220 into the grow watt so that when I don't have enough battery or solar available that uh, I'm still with power and not without. Um, this is a great inverter. Uh, so far it's been wonderful. Uh, hookup was relatively straightforward. One thing that I did have trouble with here in the U.S. was understanding grounding. Uh, one of the lessons that I learned personally along the way was that there's a difference between grounding and bonding. Uh, in other countries, they call it earthing. So you want earthing to bond with the planet, and that helps with lightning strikes and things of that nature. But generally, bonding is to have the material surfaces, when they're metal, all be uh, of the same value. So that when you drag your feet across the room or you touch one device and then another, like my drill press here, you don't get shocked because of a variance in the overall charge of the surface so you you bond them so they're the same but uh that really helped clarify things for me and then what i did uh in understanding that a little better is i simply bonded the case to the uh ground for the service so uh, that was one of the things i was really not confident about until i did a whole lot of research so i have a short ground wire that just comes over here and it should not carry any current. If it does, that's because something's wrong. So um, I'm thinking about putting a uh, like a five amp fuse or something on this, so that if it does get some current in it, that it it breaks, and then I will know something's wrong. Um, but anyway, really easy unit to operate. Uh, mine is in what they call SBU mode or solar battery utility. So the primary uh, source of power is supposed to be the solar followed in part by the battery when there's not enough solar energy to handle the load. And then ultimately, if neither of those two or the combination thereof, if they fail to satisfy what's needed, it'll switch back to the utility. So right now, I've got solar coming in, charging my battery, uh, and there's enough solar coming in that it's also satisfying my load. So if I look real quick, I've got... Uh, I'm set at 240 volts. Um, my battery's almost full, it looks like. I've got 29 amps at uh, 1.6 kilowatts coming in off my solar panels, so I'm still charging the battery at a fairly aggressive rate for whatever my load is. My load at the moment looks to be around 400 watts, not a whole lot. Um, but I do have uh, the secondary bedrooms, all of their outlets. I have uh, the family room, all of the primary outlets in the family room, including the main TV, uh, my server equipment, and my office, uh, all running on this sub-panel so that um, all those things are not attached to the grid locally. Uh, one other item that is currently attached to this and is running really well is my furnace. So the furnace blower fan, uh, that mechanism is around 500 watts. And it runs periodically, uh, wintertime right now, it runs periodically all day. And then uh, I still have it, let the house get pretty darn cold at night. So it runs maybe twice through the overnight. Um, but really, uh, fantastic unit. This, this thing just handles all of my loads just fine. And uh, I'm very satisfied with it. And I uh, hope to increase my storage, my batteries, uh, as well as the number of panels. I only have about six and a half kilowatts worth of panels uh, out in my yard right now, and I'd like to dial that up. But uh, as far as the grow watt, fantastic item. Uh, another thing that I learned about it that you may be curious about, when it's on power saver, 
that just means that it's not going to use the utility company to help charge the batteries. When it's on normal, then it will use the utility company, but only to the extent that you program it. So if you allow it up to 10 amps, let's say, of uh, utility power to help charge your batteries, that'll be the maximum that it draws from utility to help assist uh, charging your batteries. Uh, I don't want any help from the utility. My goal is to get away from them. So uh, I'm on the switch in the uh, power saver mode so that strictly solar charges my batteries. Anyway, for what it's worth, uh, I love this device and it's been seamless. Uh, even my wife and daughter are, are happy with it. So uh, highly recommend it.